bum bum. Like Daryl. <laughs> Fuck like Mike. I'm gonna be like Daryl. <laughs> get shit out of here, McAdoo. I said to get that shit out of here. <laughs> now he hasn't learned like Russell and Roy Hinson to hold onto that ball after the block and just tap it. He just wants to slap it into the front row. <laughs> Which is funny in its own way, but not as good for the game. Um ba bum bum bum. Ah! Hey Kareem, what are you gonna do about it? And that's a foul they didn't call. Look at Kareem flailing, this, this flopping for the refs here, right? It's totally legal if you're a stronger player to try to block out the other player in the post. Totally legal. Now, what's not legal is what Rambus did right there and grabbed the arm. That's not when you're jumping to grab the arm and hold it down, no. No, LeBron and Slopey and other screwballs cannot jump like Dominique, Dr. J, or Daryl. Nor do they have the physical dominance of Will. Not even close. That is not a foul on Daryl. That's a that that's a no call right there. That's a that's a one thing. Two things about Daryl. He should have a ring every year he played. He's the best shooter ever. He has the highest point per shot of anyone in the NBA. Only. Adrian Dantley, Chris Mullen, Barkley, and McHale come anywhere close to Daryl Dawkins, and I think he still wins. And that's, um, this is a guy they called shit tons of ticky tack fouls on, which is bullshit, and he should have taken, I would have given him like 70 shots a game. I would have given him so many shots that people would be crying and like blood coming out of their nose, because this guy would just never miss. He's basically like Shaq on a good day, plus he can jump like Dominique. And he can shoot like, um, like Dantley. He's a better shooter than Bird. Look at that, it's easy and fouled like multiple times. Fouled on the rebound and fouled on the way up. It's another thank you very much. And remember, constantly saddled with like four or five fouls by Tiki Chuck bullshit refs. That's a foul by, by Kareem just obviously right there. Like if this guy had gotten anywhere near the number of shots that Kobe or Kareem got, he would have he would have taken a stab at Wilt's fucking records. And that right there is the greatest dunk of all time. And they called it a charge, which is utter bullshit. The player's got to be able to land. That's the greatest dunk you'll ever see in your life. You want to see that again? I do. Like Daryl. <laughs> Lionel Hollins right there was utter cancer. He was like the DJ of fucking the 76ers. Oh, he's like 3 for 14. That's the greatest dunk of all time. You'll never see a dunk better than that. Only Dr. J or Dominique will come anywhere near close, or something Wilt would do. And that's a good, that should be a good no call. Remember, in the NBA, the best call is the no call. Like Daryl. <laughs> I think he should have a title for every year he played. 